Hey guys, Emmy Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do a little piggy. So I kind of feel like it looks like a um, a money box. So it's going to be like Charlotte, almost like Charlotte Charlotte's web. It reminds me of that pig in there. So all you need is a piece of paper. Do it portrait. So it's up like this. And you're going to do well. You need a pencil and a rubber, really, or a razor. And we're going to rub out quite a bit. So we just have to start on the middle of the paper. So all we're gonna do is, let's do a light, do it lightly. Reminds me of an emoji. <laughs> do a very light roundish line, so a circle basically. Draw a circle and make sure it's kind of in the middle. You want a bit of room there. I love this pig, it looks so cute. And we can decide what we wanna call it at the end. So you do a pig, pig's head, and then you wanna to touch the side here and just go, whoa. So you just go. Then to do the snout of the nose, or well the nose, you're just gonna go. You see, I did it wobbly. So it's kind of like a wobbly line. It's like a U shape and then a whoa. And then you want two nostrils. Hello, piggy. To make it look 3D, the snout, you kind of want to do a line. Just do that. It makes it look chunky, chunky monkey. Then the mouth's quite important. <laughs> so you want to go, ah. Depends how you want it to smile or be sad or whatever. But I quite like that face. It just looks kind of nice, but we need uh, the smile, but I need it to shape the face a little bit. So we just go under the nose and we have to shape it so it goes out like that. So you're kind of, the dark line is the line you want to keep and the other lines you're going to rub out. And you know you've got that potato um, circle shape, you want to go a little bit in and do a line there. So you're going inside the circle. Then we want to do some piggy ears. So you want to go, ah. This one's quite cool because at the top you're going to go, Reminds me of an eye. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you've got an ear. Just about ear. <laughs> and then we want some eyes. So just do a line here. Pause the video and go back if I'm going way too fast, because sometimes I just get a bit carried away. <laughs> so we want an eye. One, two, circle. I love the eyelashes, like the eyelashes make it look amazing. So this one, just do a normal eye. So rainbow shape, U shape, one little bit of line there, another line there, and then we want to go, ah! I just, there's something about, I've seen a child do those eyes and I just think they look great. So you don't have to do those eyes, do something else. There we are, it's kind of cute. Now, eyelashes. It's all about the eyelashes. Right, then, body. So touch about there on that potato shape. Well, it's not a potato, is it? Circle. And you're gonna go, whoa. Can you see, it's almost another circle. And you want a twirly, whirly tail. They look wicked, don't they, with a twirly, whirly tail, look really lovely. So just a twirly whirly tail, make it chunky. Now it's, it's really quite easy from now because you just touch that circle and you float your pencil and then draw. So just where the ear is, go down, float, and then you want to go circle. So that's got to attach. And then from this circle here, you go up, then, U shape. So if that's really fast, just go back and look again because all it is is lines and shapes. And then you're going to go, like, if you don't know where you're going to, as long as you're under the nose, and then you're going to go, Nyum. I'm trying to keep this super simple. And then like that, and then like that. Looks like a money box, I think, personally. So inside here, just do like a line because you just want to have some lines to make it look like he's kind of, you know, he's folding his skin. And in here you've got some hooves. 
So just go like that. This one's just kind of here. Doesn't really matter too much. And then you've got another little hoof there. I do like the chunkiness of it. And then here, we're just gonna go just here where the line is of the leg. I'm gonna go like that and it's a hoof. And then we're gonna go uh, join it up. Join it up. So that's roughly it. I might have semi-rushed that, but I think you'll be fine because it will look so cool no matter what you do, because you've got the legs, you've got the face. The nose is such a cool thing to draw on a piggy. Piggy! So I'm going to rub out some of the lines, because I don't need all of them. So I'm rubbing that out. You rub out whatever's in the ear. You just rub out a couple of lines. You don't need to rub them all. I love this pig, he looks so cute, and I need pink. You don't have to do it pink, you could have a green pig. Why not? We're gonna have like a fluorescent chalk. Can you see that? Yes. Now, I like the idea of colouring the background in, but let's just get the chalk. If you don't have chalk, you could have felt tip. I'm just outlining a bit of it, but you don't have to do all of him. The chalk's amazing because it will outline things and bring it all together. Definitely go round it with a black pen if you can, or even like a pencil go darker because it looks really cool. Right. Then get your finger and blend. The blending makes him look fluffy. You might not want it to look fluffy, but it looks 3D. So it looks like it's, oh man, I forgot to rub out something. You know what, it'd be really nice to have blue eyes on the piggy. There's one bit that I didn't rub out. It's this, you don't need that anymore. But you're gonna have that bit because it's where the eye is. So just, there we go. So once I've done the chalk, I'm pretty much done. I mean, if you decide you want to colour the whole thing in, then that's great, because it looks good no matter what, really. He's a pink piggy. I love pigs, they're so cute. So there's my piggy. You could have him in grass. You could do him floating with musical notes. <laughs> do whatever you like. Then sign it. I love signing it, just, yeah. So you can have a go at signing your signature. Just looking at the video. So this looks quite dark in the video, but it's not. You want to blend it in if possible. My finger gets a bit tired. Let's have a look at the video now. Yeah, that probably makes more sense, doesn't it? But I quite like keeping some of it white. So it's up to you, you might not want to, but it just looks quite nice, some of it white. So there we have our pig. There we have our pig. Let me know how you get on with your pig. If there's bits of the pig, look at my easel, a little bit messy. If there's bits of the pigs you're not that a uh, bit pig, if there's bits of the pig you're not that keen on, feel free to get a rubber if you've got the chalk and <laughs> rub it out. Because on the video it looks odd, but in real life this looks awesome. So yes, and if you want to, you can put an acrylic paint or any paints and get a straw and blow out so you go with the straw and it blows out all the paint it looks so cool so yeah have a go at doing the pig let me know how you get on and i shall see you soon